Thank you. Well, I'm Senator David Carlucci, and I'm proud to stand with my brothers and sisters in labor because this is a very important day that we're here. Because we're saying in one loud collective voice that we demand respect, we demand dignity, and it starts with decent paying wages and decent benefits. We're here to support you, get this contract done, and bring it home. What do we want? Contract! When do we want it? Now! Good. Uh, we represent 120,000 families in Westchester and Putnam County. And these members have contracts. These members have decent jobs. They know what it means to have a good contract in Westchester County. They have homes in Italy, in the Cayman Islands. God bless them, but they have to start sharing the wealth. For too long, no one has underpaid its workers, failing to offer them the area standards. A company that prides itself on a local community-based model should pay what the other local employees, employers are paying. No one advertises it's a full-service lumberyard that's been meeting the needs of builders, contractors, and homeowners in Westchester and Fairfield County, as well as New York metro area, for almost 75 years. I'm absolutely inspired to see so many people coming together to protect our brothers and sisters in labor. It's so important that we remember that we've built this country, particularly the Hudson Valley, on the backs of the middle class. And our labor unions have allowed us to do that. And any time we see our members in labor being trampled upon their rights, we have to stand together. We have to have a fair contract. We have to have decent wages and fair benefits. In order to live, to raise a family in Westchester County, we demand those benefits. And that's why it's just so inspiring to see so many people coming together and saying our brothers and sisters in labors have to be paid adequately. They have to have a fair contract. And that's what we demand in order to do business here in the Hudson Valley. I think it's messed up. It's so messed up that we see the divide between the rich and the poor growing every day in the United States. And if we allow that chasm to grow any further, it's going to be disastrous to our economy. Okay, uh, we organized Millwood Lumber as uh, the sole and exclusive representation of the workers that work here. Um, and we're looking for area standards, wages, terms and conditions for these employers. We want them to be treated with respect and dignity. Well, it's good. We have Today we have uh, the Teamsters Union, Local 8, 813, supporting us. And as you know, 456, which we represent Millwood. We also have building trades, and we have uh, the Central Labor Body, AFL, standing with us also. We have Senator Colucci on his way. We have Senator Harkman, who represents this district. And we have a lot of other uh, elected officials who claim they're going to come and support us today. I'm very proud of my union and I'm proud of my brother and sisterhood of all other unionists. And I know there's only 11% in the United States that are part of unions nowadays and we just have to stay together and uh, keep fighting for, for workers' rights. It's disturbing because the middle class is shrinking and we need to stay together so that we can have a good middle class. and and the haves need to share with the have-nots. So let's even the playing field. Down Underhill Avenue they go. Dozens of community groups, including the Harrison Police, high school marching band, and veterans organizations are marching in the annual Harrison Veterans Day Parade. I'm lucky to get wounded because all the guys that are left behind are all dead. So, you know, sometimes I do it for them, 
Sometimes I do it for our country. The federal holiday began as Armistice Day, which recognizes the formal ending of World War I, which ended 101 years ago today. More than a century later, and people like Pam Triano want to make sure the next generation, like her grandkids, know the importance of military service. I'd like them to see the veterans and enjoy the parade. The holiday recognizes the sacrifice and service our armed forces have made to protect our freedoms. Now those taking part in the festivities today hope that they can rally around our veterans as a sign of unity. The country at one time used to be very pro-veteran. Uh, understood what it took to serve. Uh, unfortunately, things have changed a lot. And if, and if we don't let people know, they won't have a clue. Westchester Executive George Latimer calls this an important day, adding, In Westchester, we are immensely proud of and thankful for our veterans every day. In West Harrison, Jonathan Gordon, Fios, One News. I believe the turnout today is a true testament to Don Larkin. We usually have 50 or 60 people sign up for this blood drive. As of right now, we have 132 and we're still taking walk-ins. Um, the response has been great. We send it out to our alumni um, association as well, and we're getting emails from people all across the country who Don has touched their lives, whether as their soccer coach, their basketball coach, geometry teacher, you know, people from all over the country. We had someone call from Munich, Germany the other day and sent an email mm -hmm. saying that, you know, the only reason I passed my geometry regents was because of Mr. Larkin. Um, it's been great. The turnout is spectacular for a truly great man. Don, we're all pulling for you. Get well. <laughs> that was perfect. Um, I think it's great the fact that as a community we can come together to help one of our own. Um, we've had blood drives before and I went to the last one and it wasn't as big as this. We didn't even have like a sheet outside to show all the names. So the fact that they're taking this very seriously for someone that we all know is cool to me. I've interacted with him personally over the pre in past three years in, in my time here. It was really unfortunate to hear he, had to, he couldn't continue working because he was such an important part of the faculty here and his interactions with the students were awesome every single day. The news of the turnout is absolutely phenomenal because it, it really shows that the Stepnet community really cares for its members and really cares for the community and everyone coming out together really helps to show our sentiment that everyone cares and everyone 
really wants to continue helping the community no matter how they can. At 3.35 this morning, uh, we were dispatched to a reported barn fire on Croton Falls Road. Shortly after dispatch, responding firefighters saw a glow in the sky and saw flames since the barn sits up on a hill, confirmed the working fire, uh, which led me to request mutual aid from surrounding departments. Uh, mutual aid companies primarily brought in tankers because we don't have any fire hydrants in the area. We had to pump water up the hill to the apparatus at the top of the hill that were fighting the fire. At the height of the fire, we had 12 fire departments from Westchester, Putnam, and Fairfield counties engaged. We also had EMS units uh, standing by in case there were any injuries. Thankfully, uh, there were no injuries or fatalities to any people, uh, but we did have some chickens and peacocks that were in the barn uh, that were lost. Uh, some other animals were outside the barn and are safe at this time. Some of the difficulties we had included traffic on Croton Falls Road, uh, where the tankers were operating, so we needed to shut down that roadway, which we know is an important commuting roadway. However, the safety of the firefighters operating was paramount, uh, and that allowed us to work a bit uh, safer and more quickly in extinguishing the fire. The investigation team is continuing their work at this time. There's no uh, determination as to the cause of the fire. That will be determined uh, during the course of the investigation and later today. Uh, 
So the initial firefighting operations to put out the main body of fire took several hours given the volume of fire we had. Uh, the barn was approximately uh, 40 feet by 60 feet, two and a half stories uh, with heavy contents. So that's quite a fire load. So it was quite a bit of fire that we did have to extinguish. Uh, the investigation and the overhaul and knocking the remains of the building down, uh, that's taking another several hours given the scope of work and again the importance of making sure there's a thorough investigation. Uh, before we leave, which we expect will be uh, later this morning, the fire will be completely extinguished, uh, the building will be raised, uh, and the investigation team will uh, have some preliminary conclusions that they may share with us.